all right so we got plenty more theories to go over and i'm loving that there are so many theories to go over because like i mentioned before i will find any excuse to continue talking and hyping up legend because it is that freaking good and just a little update the main video as in the actual movie itself has over three million views let's get into it so what's going on everyone it's your boy Uch, and of course we are back again once again how y'all doing today so this episode or this video whatever you want to call it it's actually going to be catered towards a theory that i did not originally come up with and i wasn't even contemplating this but i just think that the fact that we can still take out of a 10 minute film that was fan made and really dissect every inch of it is amazing and it's a true testament to how good this shit is so the quick plugs aside from liking sharing and commenting this video i would like you to then check out my description so that way you guys can check out the movie itself as well as nasir's patreon because nasir who is the creator the god among us men and women here on this planet earth okay my man is literally on planet vegeta okay this dude is od as it is but i'm plugging his patreon because he does have goals and if i believe if we can get him to his fourth goal which is at fifteen thousand a month he's gonna be able to at that point hire out his studio and that way they will then be able to definitely make another part i'm not saying that that's the condition but i just would imagine that it would be a little bit easier for them to pump out more legend if we truly do want that so if you're gonna be like me who's really been a supporter i instant frame one became a patreon supporter of his and i know that a lot of more people are going to be because when i originally subscribed he was at like two hundred dollars and then when i talked about it on the video i did after my reaction he was at like over five and now he's over one grand <laughs> So it's climbing up, it's climbing up. And out of the four goals, he's already almost at his third goal. So let's get it going. All right, so today, exactly what theory are we gonna be talking about? So like I mentioned already, this is a theory that has to do with time travel. And this is something that went completely over my head because again, I didn't think of this and I couldn't imagine it fitting. But after, of course, watching this again, <laughs> I can see how this theory does have some weight to it. And I'm going to go over all the points that our boy Noctic Kid in the comments. So shout out to Noctic. Okay. And I will be giving you guys your, your, your freaking praise. Okay. Because I'm a real one. I keep it real. Okay. If I did not come up with it, I'm going to cite my freaking sources. Okay. So Noctic, thank you for this. And I'm literally going to straight up read your comment. I literally copied and pasted it into a note here. So here we go. So the whole idea is that there is a, this is the time travel theory within legend, right? So Noctic says, I think the legend continuity is actually exploring time travel. So I have the, the movie in front of me just in case we want to do actually see any visual representation lining up with all of these bullet points that Noctic made. All right, so let's check it out. The other thing that I do want to put a disclaimer on is that I don't know if this was Noctic's theory themselves or if Noctic got it from somewhere else. But either way, I'm sourcing from my own comments, okay? So if you guys want to tell me about what someone else might be talking about or whatever, then I will, of course, source or cite whatever y'all tell me. So here we go. So the kneeling Saiyan statues may in fact be previous Vegeta's or at least a squad that aided the conquering Vegeta statue. Okay, so uh, they're referring to, of course, the opening scene right here. Okay, now when you look closely at this, and I think I mentioned this in the breakdown video that I did. So if you haven't checked that out, please go ahead and you know, take uh, take some time to definitely check that out. That's a 55 minute breakdown. I will warn you about the time there. However, I just recently put chapters, so it's at least a little bit easier to navigate through. So I definitely did that for y'all. So thank you again for supporting the channel and all that kind of good stuff, okay? So back to this. And when I looked at this, I originally said that these Saiyan statues that are kneeling before the King Vegeta statue in front, they all look the same right they all look the same and i'm not really confident in in in, in thinking that 
these are all previous vegetas but then again i mean it wouldn't be too far-fetched but i just what's throwing me off is that they all look completely the same you know like the king vegeta that we're used to seeing I mean, he obviously looks like he is the father of our Vegeta, but at the same time, they have some distinct feature differences. You know, like King Vegeta's got his mustache, right? Vegeta does not. Vegeta is also wearing earrings. I'm pretty sure he was too. But again, like I mentioned, they do have some distinctions that are that you can differentiate between the two. There is no differences among these statues. So unless they all looked exactly the same, I can't really see them all being previous Vegetas. But again, that's just food for thought. And that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to read all these points and then kind of give you guys my my reaction to um, what Noctis wrote in the comments. So this next part, right? The AF, right? The AF right there. So when I made my breakdown, I said that AF maybe could be a direct nod at like Dragon Ball AF, like after future. That's something that we've seen in other previous fan made creations. But with this, and this is where it gets crazy, AF could literally mean after Frieza. That is OD. If this takes place after a time where they defeated Frieza already, OD. That's crazy, right? Then they go on to say, the Vegetas we see are descendants of our Vegeta, or the very least, the older king is our Vegeta. And then he put like equals less than Vegeta the fourth or is Vegeta the fourth. That's another thing that, you know, I'm not too... I'm not too clean around that part, but I what I'm imagining what they're trying to say is that the older King Vegeta is our Vegeta, right? And then this new King Vegeta, like this is a whole new Vegeta altogether. Like this is not like the main Vegeta. Like if we were gonna uh, translate this or maybe compare it to the 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 actual Dragon Ball Z, right? It's a different Vegeta. I think that's what they what they mean. And that is crazy. Just to think about that. Just like here, here's what I think. The more I'm, I'm vocalizing this, the more it's making uh, more sense. So check this out. So basically, what they're saying is. Where he goes here, I'll, 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 I'll let it play so yeah, yeah, we can all hear it again. Ready? My son. Mm, my son. Apparently, if what I'm, if what I'm understanding, if what they're saying is true, he thinks that this is the Vegeta we're used to seeing, and that's OD. Didn't even think of that. That's kind of that's an interesting twist in and of itself. If that's the case, so let's keep that in mind. And of course, these are all. Th this is all theorizing, obviously, right? We could we could all be wrong, off everything. But you know, we never know, man. We never freaking know. This is what happens when you make something this good, and everyone's so invested. Until we get a part two, this is gonna keep going on. So at some point, stray dogs, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to give us something, all right? At some point. But remember, we gotta keep on supporting them and make sure we sub to the Patreon. So the next part here, they say, making the Vegeta we follow, obviously his son, making the very spot on parallel of future trunks. And, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it really makes sense when you think about it, okay? So, and the reason behind it, right? And so there's, there's literally seven points under that point that they wanted to highlight and i'm gonna go over them one by one okay the reason the the reason to back this you know this new vegeta the basically and it says it right there like right when he's introduced right when he comes through after after meeting broly what happens his little title title card john after he says the green light the gold you fashion all this dude right here ready but for you, I make a royal exception. Check this, John, out right I here. I make a royal exception. Ah, uh, Vegeta, new king of the Saiyans, right? So in the text, it, they, they, they're telling us straight up, this is the new king, the new king of the Saiyans. This could literally be like a Vegeta Jr., essentially, right? This is a different one. But it's also exploring the idea that he is almost like on some Future Trunks type stuff, which makes you really wonder, like, dude, how many concepts did they manage to really fit into this? Because if this is all true, like imagine if this all actually comes out like, oh yeah, like this is like a new Vegeta, clearly new Vegeta, King Vegeta is not the same Vegeta and he's actually time traveling. All right, so let's go into the other points. This does give some more insight to Vegeta's words. So when he explains how he appeared exactly before, go it would explain, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me get it together here. Okay, sorry. 
<laughs> it's just super, it's super exciting, okay? This would explain how he appeared exactly before Goku would have been killed, right? His pod that we saw already, like when he crashed lands, right over here. All right, so here's he's he, this is him using the scouter inside the pod, right? Has a pod that is able to detect the power levels and his target, right? So here's the thing. I don't necessarily think that it's the pod. At first, I did, I did think that it was the pod that was doing all of the the scouter work and everything that was detecting the bpm and the power levels and all that shit right but then the thing that is an indication to me that it's not actually the pod doing it was because it breaks okay it breaks right here and then we see vegeta coming out of the pod but look at the pod there is not a crack on it so that's why i think that inside the pod inside that john broke unless unless there's a screen in there and that's the thing that broke but i mean i would have figured it would have just we would have seen the crack on there but you know it, either way it's very interesting to say the least and to uh of course bring up so like you said has a pod that is able to detect the power levels and his target the legend right vegeta of course he says the he says the line as soon as he gets out of this pod right here. This had so many good lines, all right? And we're gonna hear it again because that's how fire it is. The green light, the gold you fashion. It's not every day that a king leaves his throne, but for you, I make a royal exception. All my life I've trained for this one moment. As a quick little reminder, this is the idea that this Vegeta is a time traveler. He is time traveling and he knew exactly where to go, where to be to basically prevent Goku from dying. Now this also ties into what I thought in the breakdown where Vegeta later even says, and, we, and this is actually one of the other points that uh, I believe he, yeah, this is one of the last points that he, that he brings up, right? Or no, yeah, 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 this is another point that they bring up. There's a lot of points here, okay? I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to balance my excitement with breaking this shit down for you guys in an orderly fashion here, okay? So bear with me, but Vegeta does mention this, or this does back this, this whole theory up. And like I said, I mentioned the whole virus thing because Vegeta does say that his days were numbered. Now, that's not very clear as to if he was going to die or if there's others that are going to kill him because maybe it wasn't, maybe it's not the heart virus itself, but maybe it's just the idea that because Goku, the savior from heaven, who clearly there's something unique and special to him, that a guy like Broly was seeking him out to take out and he was gonna kill him. He was gonna kill him right then and there. But Vegeta prevented it. Vegeta saved him. And it's almost similar to like how Trunks knew. Trunks knew where to, exactly to be at the right freaking time. And boom. He was there not to defeat Frieza, but he was there to just make sure that Goku got the antidote because they couldn't, you know, they, they couldn't have him dying because if they needed, if they needed all sorts of help to make sure that they could defeat the androids. So obviously we, that, that much is already, we already know that. So the other thing, right, is that Vegeta has a refined Super Saiyan. Now this again also uh, goes back to the idea that I of course mentioned in the breakdown of Goku's savior from heaven form, that state is not the refined power that he could potentially obviously train to attain. Not to say that Goku's form is just gonna turn into what Vegeta's Super Saiyan refined state is. I think, and I said this as well, I think that once Goku really does harness that and truly like is able to manifest and use it like how Vegeta turns on his Super Saiyan. What makes Goku special is the fact that he is the savior from heaven, bro. He is Wukong, you know what I'm saying? So that that explains that. Being legend, hear me. Today a god, god falls. falls. For the culture, I'm gonna let you all see this one. Ashes to the wind. Uh oh. And that and, and it's super refined, right? It's uh, it's great. It's it goes alongside with the, when he says the Golden Warriors later on, right? And then the other point they mention, right, is that Vegeta knows the Kamehameha wave right here. Now, 
Now this backs up something that I also brought up myself. So I love how this theory kind of intertwines with mine. That the one, the lot of thoughts and theories that I've had myself. And it's also the fact that, like I said, that this was definitely not the first time Vegeta had an interaction with Kakarot. That's what I originally said, right? But the idea that Vegeta just went to him in this state, and it seems like Goku himself, right? Kakarot himself. It's almost as if like he's another person. I said this in in the in the breakdown right like for some reason when vegeta said now like now is the time he just knew to link and sync with vegeta so that way they can do this joint kamehameha so i mean if if this vegeta is truly from another timeline then of course he's gonna know about all about this goku because maybe there was another one you know what i'm saying maybe there was another one that died and obviously that's why he's trying to prevent that from happening here and that's also how he would even know about the command mail wave and maybe because he is sharing and syncing with my man wukong over here okay he's got the savior from earth on his side or the savior from heaven on his side maybe the sharing of the light maybe they could share techniques too who the fuck knows honestly at that point I, yo that's od that's od this all everything about this is od but um, again it's beautiful let's let it rock And of course, I shouted this out in the breakdown of the fist, but that's a, that's a fireball, bro. That's that's awesome. My man, yo, Nasir, you trying to play some Street Fighter, bro? We'll play, let's play some Street Fighter, man. Like, come on now. I know you know. I know you you didn't put that in there for no reason, okay? <laughs> so the other thing I did want to point out, and this was like the extra note that they added at the end. So like I said, I, I was going a little out of order just to like it kind of really explain everything, right? But they did say that the command man may now be a more Saiyan technique that Goku passed down to this Vegeta's generation. This implies that at some point in this in this crazy story the idea of there being a goku above a vegeta that taught him and taught others the kamehameha is od that's fire that's awesome i i would love to see something like that happen i would just love to see another freaking part right i want to see this legend just become a series whether it comes out like once a month you know like not once a year let me not say that let me not let me, let me not absalom this shit okay because i i would definitely want it i need i need this more than you know just just one and done okay um but that is a cool idea right and then there's the one final part that i already kind of started talking about we could wrap this up with this the last and final bit to all of this is just the the the, the idea that vegeta is here to provide goku with knowledge of the fact that his light is out of control must be refined to be useful and obviously vegeta is going to offer his service of being that king on his king shit okay to train goku to refine this okay and obviously the warning that there is a war coming on and i feel like this war that's about to happen is i feel like the whole purpose of the war is to kill goku i think the whole idea of this of this whole shit is that goku with his savior from heaven. Let's think about this. That form implies that this dude is God. He is supposed to be God. His power is supposed to be way beyond anything that they can all imagine. And they are all coming after this guy. And I feel like Broly was just the fucking first messenger. He was the first attempt, you know? I think that is crazy. And, the, and here's the even... O more od concept is that if vegeta helps him refine this and truly master his savior from heaven form with all confidence i know that goku is going to look and have the best super saiyan 4-esque look to him ever in the history of history <laughs> And that'll do it so i said a lot and just to obviously give you my impressions of this theory yeah i think that this has a lot of weight to it this definitely has made me look at this entire shit way differently now and the concept of this vegeta now being a time traveler in essence to how his son trunks was it always it only makes me wonder if if and when or how this version of dragon ball right is going to implement gohan trunks and you know so far and so far. I, I wonder if the androids are somehow gonna play some type of role in this or who really 
is going to be br bringing this war to them is it going to be other sayings is it going to be another type of frieza right because if we're going to believe that from the point at the beginning of the story where this is a time period after frieza right i don't know it could it literally could be anything anyone at any given time it could be new characters i'd imagine though it would be somebody or something that we already are familiar with because that's kind of like the whole point but with that i'm sure there will be plenty of newer things added to it but as you can guys can already tell this has had me so excited i feel like i've been way more excited for this than i have for superhero for anything else going on in dragon ball super even the return of dragon ball super dude I know for a fact that if Nasir hit me up, which he has, by the way, let me let you guys know that I, I have been in contact with Nasir, so shout out to Nasir, okay, but if he was to tell me that he and his team are working on another part, and he said a ballpark date range, I literally, for number one, I would be so happy, so excited, that I would be looking forward to that more than I would Dragon Ball Super. So with that, like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links will be in the description as always. And as another friendly reminder, while you're supporting me, please go ahead and support Nasir and the Stray Dog Studios, okay? The link to the Patreon will be in my description as well as the three freaking million views that the original movie has. So let's keep, let's keep watching it. Let's keep dissecting this. If you guys have any other theories you want me to kind of go over and break them down myself here to give you guys my reaction and my thoughts on that then please go ahead and feel free to do so it's been your boy ooch make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean and stay the hell inside i'll see y'all next time.